Welcome to class number two of the Spring Detox Challenge. Let's begin cross-legged in a seat or kneeling comfortably. And close the eyes down while you create length through your spine. Just taking a moment before we move to ground. Begin to feel that connection of your sit bones and your spine with the ground. Maybe even imagining a bright green light reaching from the crown of the head through the spine all the way down to the center of the earth. Feeling this connected of this feeling rather of being connected to the earth, of being grounded, of feeling your weight and your heaviness in contact with the ground beneath you. Let's take a deep breath in, fill up completely, grow a little taller as you do so. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Let's do that one more time because it feels so good. Inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Taking a moment to seal the lips, dropping into your ujjayi breath. Lengthening the breath here and consciously slowing it down. Inhaling just a little deeper. Exhaling out a little longer and slower. With your next inhale, draw the belly through the pose as you lift the gaze. Exhale, round and curl, chin to chest for seated cat-cow. Continue to move with your breath. If it feels comfortable, keep the eyes closed. Drawing your senses inwards, so you can feel along the entire length of your spine. Getting out any stiffness, any kinks. Just notice where this feels intense in your body or sticky. Let's do one more inhale. Exhale, round and curl. Hanging out here, rounding and curling, hands on the knees. Let's just pause here, sway side to side a little bit, really getting into the upper shoulders, upper back. Inhale, grow tall, reach the arms up with you. And then exhale for a seated twist, twisting to the right. Left hand on the outside of right knee, right arm behind you is a second spine, inhale to grow tall. Exhale, twist just a little deeper. Inhale, center, reach fingertips up. Exhale, twist to the left. Left arm behind you is a second spine, grow tall. Exhale, twist deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, let's make our way to tabletop. Hands come down to the floor and we come down onto our knees. From here, let's extend the left toes out long and the right fingertips rock up to the front of the mat. Inhale here, lift the fingers and the toes, opposite hand, opposite foot. Exhale, knee to elbow, find a crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right hand down. Deep breath in. Exhale, nose to the mat. Find a version of chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Reach the arms long. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, push up. And again, continuing this movement. Knee to elbow, find that crunch. And then working the triceps, working the arms as we lower down. Keep moving, moving at your pace with your own breath.
We have three. Last two. Last one. Meeting in tabletop position, we're gonna open up into side plank by turning out onto the right foot. Stacking left hip on top of right. Keep the left foot floated here. Inhale to reach left fingertips forward. Exhale, knee to elbow, find another crunch. Reach and crunch. Every time you stretch the body long, find that side stretch. And then use the core to crunch. Last three, two, and one. Open up through gate pose, seal out into the knife edge of the left foot. Left hand reaches down left leg, right arm up and overhead. Find a side stretch. Tuck a couple deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat right in front of you. Finding a variation of cat cow. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round and curl, press the ground away. And again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Walking the hands back towards the front of the mat. We'll reset. This time, reach the right toes out, left fingertips forward. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, nose to the mat. Press up, reach and crunch. Reach, push up. Continue moving with your breath at a pace that's comfortable for you. Now you can always speed it up if you wanna get a bit more cardio in here or slow it down if you wanna make this a bit more meditative. The whole time, the belly button's drawing into the spine. We're engaged through the core. We have three, last two, last one. Meeting from tabletop, spin out onto the left foot, opening up into your side plank. Let's float the right toes up off the mat. Reach right fingertips up and overhead. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Reach, inhale, exhale, crunch. Keeping the hips stacked the entire time. Continue to move with your breath. We're halfway there. Last three, two, and one. Inhale, gate pose. Seal onto the knife edge of the right foot. Left arm up and overhead. Right arm reaching down, right leg. Take a couple deep breaths into your left side body. Creating space between each rib bone. Inhale, reach both fingertips up. Exhale, plant the hands. Finding modified cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. One more, inhale. Exhale. Walking through towards the front of your mat. Let's step back to plank pose. 
Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Puff up through the shoulders, creating space through the shoulder blades. Draw the belly button into the spine. Notice your breath here and find your ujjayi. Finding the strength within the breath to hold here. Inhale. Exhale, click the heels to the right for side plank. Reach left fingertips up and overhead. Stack through the feet, lift the hips high. Holding here. If the wrist is sore, you can always come down to forearm plank. Continue to breathe deeply. Stay with me. Starting to feel that inner fire turn on, that heat building within you, getting the blood flowing here. From here, Let's let reach the left foot in. Peace fingers reach for the left toe. Extend the left leg out long, and then slowly left foot comes to the front of your mat, coming into low, coming into lunge here. Let's see, lift it up off that back leg. Reach the fingertips forward for power lunge, hovering over the front knee. We have three deep breaths here. Stay high onto the ball of the back foot. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, left arm reaches behind you as you bring the heart over the hips, head over the heart. Finding high lunge twist. Reach through the fingertips, pinkies down, thumbs up. Deep bend committed to in the front knee. Inhale, exhale, revolve lunge, right arm down, Left arm up. Sinking the left hip in line with the left knee. Take a couple deep breaths. If you'd like to open just a bit more through the heart space, take the left hand past left shoulder. From here, hands frame front foot, stepping back, plank pose. Coming back to our hold, shoulders over wrists, feet hip a distance apart. Try your best here. We'll be here for a shorter amount of time. Draw the belly button into the spine, press the ground away. Deep breath in, exhale, side plank. Open up onto the left, stack the feet, right arm up and overhead. Holding here. Continue to anchor through the breath, breathing deeply. Let's reach right fingers for right toes. Take the right foot down and around to the front of your mat for lunge. High onto the ball of the back foot. Inhale through the fingertips as you hover the chest over the front leg. We have three full breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, right fingertips behind you as you float the heart over the hips. Reaching out through the fingertips. Stay high into the ball of the back foot. Deep bend in the front knee. Notice if you're leaning a little bit forward. forward. See if you can lean back, aligning through the spine. Deep 
deep breath in. Exhale, revolve lunge. Plant the left hand, inhale the right. Dropping right hip point in line with right knee. Find your breath. See if you can slow your heart rate down by breathing just a little slower, just a little deeper. Hands frame the front foot, and we step back, downward facing dog. Press into the hand, lift the hips high. Spread the fingers wide. With your next inhale, let's take the left leg high. Exhale, pigeon pose. Left knee tracks, left tricep. And then we take the left foot, behind the right wrist. Lower the hips down by scooting back a touch. Inhale, lift high, shine your heart through, so find a slight back bend. Exhale to fold. Coming down onto the hands. Continue to slow your heart rate down. It might feel good to come all the way down to the ground, maybe creating a little pillow with the hands. Or maybe you'd like to stay on to the forearms. Wherever you're at, see if you can release the head, dropping chin to chest. Take a couple open mouth exhales. And allow yourself just to be with sensation. Feeling in the body all of that tightness. In this deep stretch in the hip. And just focus on where you feel this pose most acutely in your body. And inhale, let's rise. Tucking right toes under, we're gonna kick right back, three-legged downward dog. Lower the left toes down, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, pigeon pose, right knee, right tricep, right foot behind left wrist, shimmy the hips back. Before you lower, let's inhale, tent up onto the fingertips, find a slight back bend. Tilt the head back, shine the heart forward. Exhale, pigeon pose, and fold. Either coming down two forearms, or maybe all the way down, stacking the hands as a pillow for the head. Once again, allowing yourself this space to feel, to be present with what is currently happening in your body, Moment to moment. With an inhale, gently rise. From here, we're just gonna tuck left toes under and come into a child's pose. Both knees come back. Knees wide, toes to touch. And it's coming into a variation of child's pose here. Let's take the right arm and then the left arm down, crossing the arms, forehead comes to touch. For some reason, this pose 
doesn't feel great to you, you can just come down into a traditional child's pose. Continue to breathe deeply into your back body, feeling the back of your rib cage balloon, and then release with each breath. With an inhale, let's gently rise, coming to kneeling at the back of your mat. Knees together, toes to touch. We take a big inhale in, reaching the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands come through heart center, Anjali Mudra. Taking just a moment to maybe come back to your intention for this practice. Maybe your intention for spring. Be coming back to that visualization of what you would like your spring to look like. What's coming for you? What would you like to let go of? What practices are going to allow you to stay firmly rooted and grounded in your intention? In this place of action and doing. Let's inhale, thumbs to third eye. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today. Remember we have day three and four still to go and all of those journal prompts available to you to go a little bit deeper. Thank you so much, have a beautiful day.